rest. Hello everybody and welcome to Leo Plays. Today on Leo Plays we're going to be doing some Genshin Impact. Gonna have a good old swell time here. Uh, do a little more of what we did yesterday. Kind of just exploring, uh, doing some missions, and just generally chilling out with each other. Alright. Come on. Oh my god. Seek not the friendship of pigeons. I should have. I should have plenty of wheat. There you go. Looks like enough. Same easy enough. I'll race you there. Thank you, Traveler. You saved me. I never expected there to be monsters here. I'm just lucky to have ruined you. Please, take these for your trouble. You got it, Alan. Hey, there's one I don't have yet. 
My inner Ubisoft gamer is telling me, go towards that direction and collect that viewpoint. I'll catch up. Oh, it's one of those temples. I got a key to that. Finally, I fucking found one when I was just running around. Just enough, just enough stamina. <gasps> oh, I see it over here. Someone needs assistance. Oh, shit. Crystals. A chest. Where's this one? Open sesame. Hmm, such fair weather. Why don't we do a bit of sunny work? Oh, what sort of work is that, you ask? <laughs> well, anything that makes you feel bright and sunny, too. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's the one I couldn't reach earlier. that one then. Onward. To the next trial tower.
Gotcha. Okay. 21. 18. Um. Uh, 15. 25. Jesus. That's the place you can go. Hmm. I'll try heading here. And a board. <clears throat> Got a mission over here. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Wind Arg. So forgetful. I thought that was a few. Honest mistake, honest mistake. I should be able to go over here though. I need to get to level 15 so I can start doing some of those freaking dungeons. <laughs>
Okay, boy. I keep forgetting I do earth attacks now. Hey there, fella. I'll catch up. This one's witches. Where might she go? Set up to not shut off. Thank you. Guardian down there, actually. Was it J? F1. There you go. Oh, I did it yesterday, didn't I? I need something using alchemy. Three characters, phase one. Oh, I have to ascend. Can't do that again, so. You seem tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two? Hmm. Okay, I can't go that far, so... 21. 28. 25. 30. 35. Yeah, I'm assuming these all get higher. 28. Okay, yeah. Still stuck in the beginning area. 18. 28. 25. 15. Okay, um. Thank you. 
Hey, let me do a... Knock out these quests. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna kill this guy first. These guys. Surprise! My face! This is how we do it. Any enemies over here? No. Damn. My one win character is a traitor right now. <laughs> it's like, can't even use this. Anything the knights can so do for you. So this holy liar de Hamel is one of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the liar that Barbados used to play. With it, perhaps I can help Duval and draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Will it really stop storm terror from causing more damage? Of course. I'm the best bard in the world. There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? Uh... Just what is it that's in your eye? <laughs> that one doesn't work on a bard. So how can we get huh. the Holy Liar? It's said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral, somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. Now watch out, boy. My character's got a... No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. I feel like that Fleece Johnson. I need... I got need for man, but... <laughs> 
Let me handle this. Hello there, sister. May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo. But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help. I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. What? Yeah. It's a vicious dragon <clears throat> indeed. But once the acting Grand Master makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the Knight's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Uh, please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then, I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore. My disciples, rejoice! Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados, has descended. Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Oh, wait! Huh. She's a nun, not, not insane, Venti. Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid. But I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the holy liar. Now, since you're the hot shot of the Knights of... Maybe you can give it a shot. Eh, I'll try. Barbados bless you. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting... Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? Hey! A signed document is required. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Today we stand for free will! Any suggestions on just how we steal it? Come now, speak up! That's what free will is for. <laughs> Look at you! Sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things <laughs> are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! What do you say? Sure. Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? 
Oh my god. Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? Don't be shy. Easy peasy. So the guards were off duty. Oh shit. I can't jump. Dun 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 dun. Oh look. If I knew how to crouch, that would have been a lot of easier. Who are you? She's one of the Futas. You damn Futanari. Disappeared. Freeze! What are you doing oh, here? No, run! She. Oh crap. Oh no! We're busted! Run! What? <clears throat> Follow me! <laughs> Bruh. Open your wings, man. And I should have went down the first time. <laughs> yeah. uh, Master D. Luke, this is this week's accounts. <sighs> the disaster has greatly affected business. Oh, this is the guy. The wine man. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, 
a least conspicuous table. Um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. <laughs> but aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Oh, no, no, my arms All right. hurt. All Keep an eye on I them. <laughs> There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. The Knights of Pavonius. Master Diluc, have you seen two thieves around? What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <sighs> Haven't you heard, Master Diluc? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar! Oh? Huh? How odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves. Such a precious piece of cultural heritage. Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Huh? Sorry, off topic. Believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master Diluc. Hey, we got we, we got a boy back in us up. Thanks for not selling me out, Diluc. Applicants can believe a short self-introduction career interest and contact information here. Employers can write down job requirements and contact information. Why is every recruitment message posted here from Mondstadt branch of the Adventurers Guild? Is the Adventurers Guild having a talent shortage? Today, I think I'll have a glass of... Milk. You can drink milk. You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... Oh my god. Oh, you want to ask, who's this? Am I right? He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... Uh, the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the Holy Lyo de Hamel. Even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? Well, despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. Shame you joined the knights. The knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. <sighs> Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Seems you don't really like the knights of Favonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my now. Answers. Why did you steal the holy liar? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. Very well. Let me put on a show. What 
did I just witness? This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master D. Luke? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, it'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I like taverns. <laughs> okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. Remember, tomorrow night. Hasta la mañana, amigo. Put the walk in Springdale with Taiman. Come along then, Paimon. My adorable little fairy. range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! You a hunter? No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world! My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? I'm Leon. Hello, my name's Paimon! Paimon! You look at Pokemon mixed with food. I want to eat you. Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature. Is it edible? Dang in. We're friends. <sighs> what a bummer. Can't eat it if it's your friend. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too called Goba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? Oh god. <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life and I don't want to miss out. <sighs> Sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. Bruh. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it. Okay. I got plenty of meat. I hunt like crazy in here. Wowie! This is great! Some of it I'll shallow fry, some of it I'll deep fry with mushrooms. Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with sine condensate. Yay! You have finally come around to my food preferences! 
Uh, sorry. I as promised a tasty snack. Are we your food testers now? Oh, gosh. This is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm. I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. Oh, yeah. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some pork fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. There's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. <laughs> Thanks, you. guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! <laughs> Yeah, level 15. Time for ascension. <sighs> Not for me, apparently, though. <clears throat> mm. Ascend, my child! Damn, that had a lot of fucking XP. And defense. my girl into a monster. Jesus. Okay, it's the same all around. Oh my god. Fuck it. Give, give them all to her. No, oh, shit. Can't afford it anymore. She's a wrecking machine! <laughs> Cheating! Huh. Oh, 
prepared. Kill all the boars. Because my character hates nature. Like you must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person... Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Please, help me promote my meat. Huh? Oh. Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. Oh. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm, I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <sighs> well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! What you got here, Brooke? Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm, maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on, are you Sheng Ling? That's me. <gasps> it's really you. Well, I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? 
That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsen flour. Kingsen flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know. That's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I've tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures Let's lends them a unique cooking. dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender freshly grilled steak while also adding a floral aftertaste. Ah, that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop arguing! Oh. Uh. I guess it's sort of a culinary clash of the titans. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off! Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wan Mean menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wan Mean menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale, meat expert. Hm. It's a deal! I'm up to get ingredients. I will see you up. Wait! Wait! Let's try and catch up. Good thing I explore a lot. I just do this. Murder. Through. I must leave no stone unturned. Oh, missed. I like the, the heavy weapon. Uh, Present. I'll try it. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Oh, she's fucking dead. Swift and merciful.
Can I do that in the water? No. Ready when you are. You any oh. Hey, I got two of them. Old blood strike. Since I got that thing now, I should have a uh, getting calls. Be so hard, cold blood strength. Okay, this comes with the ascension base four. All right, so she got the potion, goes in the field, but it triggers automatically. Your active character to feed 0.5%. It's shield. Okay. Forms and no else defense the shield. Hmm. Okay. Increases crit rate of fire and rain and widens AOE by 30%. It's by charge attacks apply violets. Violet arcs conductive status. The show begin most forward yeah. claim level or building characters in the field created by spirit blade strong was their frost their normal text speed increased by eight okay which oh yeah now uh, hydro or cryo. One is. Energy recharge. Attack. Um. Back. Electric damage. Attack, charge, attack, damage, or anything you sent. Give me like a filter. Yeah. Uh, energy recharge, elemental mastery, crit rate. Okay. Switch. Ok, 
Okay, let's see. Dodge this! You like something to help me cool down, right? What's the hurry? This works. I think we're getting close. Have you decided what you're looking for yet? Of course not! Yeah. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise! Oh my god. But... that's so risky! Relax! This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wanmin Restaurant. Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Freeze! There's no escape. Go. Check out those lotus heads. Look how fresh they are. More steak with lotus. <laughs> this should be enough. Yeah, it's not every day you come to Leeway. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. Back shortly, someone needs me.
Alrighty. Sorry, fellas. Friend needed a quick favor. So, I'd go over and help him out real fast. But now I'm back. Whoop. I set my little monitor thing back up again. Guess I'm using my phone. Like a nerd. No. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'll catch up. Someone needs assistance. Something. It's missing a little boom shakalaka. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom shakalaka lacking. Huh. A shakalaka load of what now? <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a truly mind-blowing dish. Something like sea serpent salad, stir-fried kings in flour, or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. Can't wait to try. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. That's usually how it is. I'll make something and then they'll be all like, uh, that doesn't look never mind super that. appealing. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look. Maybe so, but those little fellas pack quite a punch. From what I've observed, spicy food is a rarity in Monsat, so this will be perfect. Go and pick some. Get a good handful. Freeze! Getting freaking what's that? Huh? Somebody's injured. What's up, fam? <laughs> so, so cold. He's shivering. We need to make a fire. Hot soup would be even better. How about I look after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? 
Sure. We passed a hillitrol camp on the way here. There will almost certainly be a campfire there to cook on. Sure. Great. Be as quick as you can. I should have some water. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. What happened? Did you get yes. I was chasing a boar. And after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? They do now. I'd heard of them before from others, but this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds, it sounds delicious! Yeah, yeah. Seriously? That's it! The missing ingredients! The icing on the cake! Calm down! Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out! Let's go! <sighs> Off she goes again. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. Yeah, I would have said so. I'll race you there. Fresh for long. Jesus, dear you. Ah! 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 get them. Ah! 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 Race you. Ah! Yeah! I like the fears. Going before they expire. Yeesh. She's quite the fighter. Seems foraging for ingredients takes more than just luck. Uh, 
Alright, and the other guys. Gonna give me a trial, won't let me have them. I hope so. Hmm. Fire. Nice and spicy. Race you. Aha! This must be it. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> this is perfect. Come to me, my little treasure.
Fudge. No escape. Boba, get them. Big spot is out here. Huh. I'll race you there. What's the hurry? Huh. I must leave no huh. as a dutiful maid would. Wash him down with a glass of wine. <laughs> Your version just ruins it! Yeah. Wait! There's something else here, too! This must be the boar that Hunter was chasing! But... Paimon's never seen one with this pattern before. This is Where have I seen Paimon. this before? Hmm... Aha! Oh. Uh -huh. It was in the Historia Naturalis of Liyue. Oh, this yeah. pattern is unmistakable. It belongs to a breed of boar that went extinct 300 years ago. Damn. Wow. How is this one still alive after so long? That won the genetic line. Could be. I read that this boar was hunted to extinction because its meat was so highly prized. Condensate of jumbo cryoslime and extinct boar. Not one, but two priceless treasures. Oh, shit. Right! Now let's get back to Springvale! Huzzah! Huh. Huh. Bet you can't keep up with me! I'll race you there! Good shit, good shit. This will hinder our vision. We must remain vigilant. Rain does not bother me. even a challenge and the reward reflects that
crazy. Okay. And back to Springvale. Are you sure this is Springvale? Uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. That is not possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. This is strange. What is going on? I think I see what's going on here. What is it? <laughs> what? Can humans really live that long? Uh, does that really make sense? Oh, like the way that you keep food fresh. Yes. Still, it's hard to believe. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation. Okay, so what's your... Olaf. Olaf? Oh, I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. So, a great, 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 great grandfather, but with a whole lot more greats? What an unusual turn of events. <laughs> Reunited at long last. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Ah, yes, that reminds me. Brooke told me about the competition, and I've set everything up at the venue. You should come with me. All right. Yeah. Ready. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the competition. Then let the cooking commence. I will be your judge today. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Much appreciated. Well then, Traveler, Paimon, prepare! Wait, we're taking part in this too? Of course! If Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine. I'll need you by my side when the going gets tough. Ah, <sighs> Paimon doesn't remember applying for that job. Okay, Paimon will do it for the sake of the food. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Our first problem is ingredients. We need something special to dress up the steak, but I don't have anything suitable here. Hmm. Hmm. I've got it! Radish is what we need. Mashed or grated, it'll add a touch of freshness. And we can carve little flowers out of it as a garnish. Two birds, one stone. Go find me a radish. There should be some in the area. Oh, and make sure you wash it because it's going straight into the dish. Come on, let's wash the radish in the lake. Oh 
shit. <gasps> Slimes! Scared the bejesus out of Paimon! This is way too close to the venue. What if they stir up trouble during the competition? Uh, I don't think we should risk it. Go get them! Wowie! Big and luscious! It's perfect! Thanks, you guys! No problem, Jenny. Now, how about... Xiangling, look out! The pan's on fire! Oh no! It's gonna burn! It's gonna burn! It's gonna burn! Get the fire under control! Without using water, though, or this dish is a goner! Okay, we have... This guy. Cool it! Bring the fire down! So without water. Dodge this! a little weak. We make me a mushroom chicken skewer. And make sure it's got that ooh la la on the outside. Then hits you with the cha-ching in the middle. Just make it taste freaking awesome! Got it. Mushroom skewer. perfection here and I just a certain what a certain boom yes definitely need some boom shakalaka or perhaps a little shakalaka boom pow I just mean it would be a waste of such amazing ingredients to just serve this as is let me see hmm what would be ideal is some kind of regional specialty regional specialty yes Something that's native to this area, but isn't often used in cooking. I don't care if it flies, crawls, or bounces. Even insects I can work with. Uh, interesting choice. Hmm, I'm sure I can make something of it. All right, then. Okay, uh, suitable ingredients. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Now show me what you got. I got, I got some shit. Lizzie tail, butterfly, frog. Can we? Again, if I need anything else. <laughs> it looks like Sean Ling's main dish is almost done. Let's go and see. I almost forgot. Side dish. We need a side dish. Are you sure it's no trouble? No trouble at all. Here, take this. I just scrolled it down at the last minute. Oh, God. And here are all the ingredients you need. Is this the recipe for that snack you gave us earlier? Yes, with some minor improvements so it uses up the leftover ingredients from Liwe. This is so complicated. How are we supposed to cook this with no experience? The technique doesn't matter. What matters is that you do it with passion. That's what my father taught me. And you yeah. must be passionate about cooking if you've helped me this much already. That's usually how I cook. I trust you guys. <laughs> I know you'll nail this side dish. Leave Confident. I come on, this is the final push. Okay. Learn. Oh 
shit, I got all these I can learn. Adeptus Temptation. Yeah, that's a five star recipe. Damn, that looks tasty. I believe this is the one I need though. Cook. Perfection! is ours easy peasy <sighs> Who uh, this was a fine feast I have dined today like I have never dined before both chefs dishes today were nothing short of exceptional they were true masterpieces and that is what makes this an extremely difficult decision but, this is a competition, and there can only be one winner, and that winner is Shang Ling. That's right, Whoopee! bitch. I win! Yeah, <sighs> peasant. I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. But, it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Uh, uh, excuse me? Did you say this was cooked from extinct boar? Yep. Yep, every last bit. My goodness, a single mouthful must be worth a hundred thousand mora. The amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Anyway, now our judge has given his verdict, it's time for everyone else to eat too. I made plenty. Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. I'll admit it. I was beaten by the best. Losing is no fun. And but it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling, I want some more. This is gorgeous, too. Such a perfectly layered texture. Were it not for that exquisite boar and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat! Hmm. I will have a taste too. Oh. My, oh my. This is... Great. This is the taste of Springvale. Or rather... It used to be. This is the last time I will be able to taste the food of my era. Hey now, cheer up! If you like the taste, I can always make you some more. <sighs> really? But the boar... It's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. <laughs> Putting a smile on I customers' is. faces is what we chefs are called to do. <laughs> A good time was had by all, but everyone's gone now. Let's go and say goodbye to Zhang Ling. Goodbye, Zhang Ling. I appreciate your combat prowess, and I hope I roll you. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. Poorly. And without you, Paimon wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Also, wouldn't have gotten so full. Huh. Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liyue, but I might change my plan on the way. I don't like to plan things too thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Must be nice to be so carefree. You heard gifted chef. You made an amazing batch of jade parcels. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions, too! It's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> See you again soon!
too shabby. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm a higher level, I should be able to do these. Which one? No, which one was it? No. I know there's one. Probably this. Oh. It probably just says go to this one. It's not showing me everything I can do. Seems all the other knights already have their hands. Ooh, you're taking me out. I am like what they recommend, but. I'm probably going to use my Earth Girl. No! <laughs> Peasant. Someone needs to.
Hi, girl. Look at that. Hi, girl. For a little shot. <laughs> You're in for a little shot. Don't be such a brute. <laughs> Surprise, my face! Into the boy.
I'll catch up. Easy peasy. There's another one. On the top rope, Noel coming in with the big elbow. And watch out, watch out, watch out! RKO out of nowhere! <laughs> Use the water against him, and he's all just like, mm -mm, I can float. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Not today, my friend. Okay, I can look like this. Five, eighteen, twenty-eight, twenty-five, one. Mm. I need to get sixteen. Let me do this one. Okay, but for now, we're here. Come on, stat! Mm. The hell is that? Apparently in The Sims you can make shit bigger. Interesting. Have you heard? The storm terror crisis. Oh, the storm terror crisis. Uh, okay, Marjorie. Pretty smooth. Over. This time I do not have commission for you. Rather, I simply have some adventure intel to share. About Dragon Spine. So you mountain near Mondstadt? Go set up a camp station. Number of ventures there. I've marked the location in your map. Once you arrive, please look for an adventurer by the name of Iris. She will brief you on the situation in that area. That's all for me. Happy adventuring in Ad Astra Episosk. Dope. Sorry to bother you again. I've been well looked after. I am delighted to hear that. 
We are most grateful for your commission completion to date. The guild's re However, another consequence is that we are receiving an unprecedented number of re You want us to do some recruitment for you? Uh, no. Although I appreciate the offer, but scrambling to officially recruit new members at this stage... So what I want to ask is, would your friends have the time to help out? No, no, that is not what I meant. I know my request is of the more presumptuous. Right now, we urgently need to find people for We organize exped- since exped- However- Pretty important then. All you need to do is convict now, without further ado. Oh shit. Expeditions! Oh, what the fuck is this? Hmm. Someone I don't need. Don't you? Ah! Okay. Oh shit. Hmm. Yeah. Tell me, Barbara. You can dispatch someone on an expedition at any time, mm. and they will still be able to join you in your adventures should you need them. Oh. You can also choose the length of time for the expedition. As your adventure rank increases, more dangerous expeditions will become available to you. After all, with- And of course, matching risk with experience is also for everyone's safety. Thanks again for your help. I hope you and your friends can help out with our expeditions as much as possible. Shit, if I would know that, I would just like, put them both on a 20-hour mission. <laughs> Damn. No wonder you are master. You my weapon? You should talk to Wagner. What are you selling here? Big fix in this selection. All master own handwork, so you won't find any second rate items here. Ugh. The craft. That's all second rate. Trash. Your stuff is trash. So much more stuff. Found in Storm Terror's lair. Found on Storm Bear Mountains. Found in Wolfendom. No wonder you are master. Okay. Come in, take a seat. We have a few specials today at Angel Share. Must be talking about my guy's sister. You're here. Wait, you're... Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. No shit. 
Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Dvalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. Hmm. That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe in Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. Uh... <clears throat> wow, um, this is really awkward. <coughs> I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between uh. Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo Gods' power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Oh. Outlander, ready to go? Let's go. Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take Devalin's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados's connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The God of Animo? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, they're still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level. Oh, yeah. To grab the liar.
Ready when you are. Damn it. Here, let me help you. defenses have been broken i thought it was the abyss order attacking how did you guys know the liars the place is being kept is locked up tight if you're after the key keep going further into the ruins but don't come after me i don't know which one of the guards has it but i'm sure you can find this guy looks like he's about to wet himself huh. you just worry about yourselves one of the 11 is already in monster senora when she gets her hands on you she's gonna string you up and torture you when that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Senora? What a strange name. Number eight of the eleven goes by the name Senora. The fact that the Fatui can run amok across the seven nations like they do is entirely because of the eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. Citizen of Sneshna. How'd you get in here? Never heard of that. What are you lot do? Oh? Hmm. And just how do you plan? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, sounds like, all right. You're f but I don't have the key, unfortunately. He says the key is in here. Shall we try another room? There's one room left that we haven't tried. Surely the key must be in there. guys. Where did you rats scurry out from? Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. Run from debt, but the IRS will always find you. Just Finally, saying. the liar is back in safe hands. Pull up my uh sky. Where did that guy go, though? He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. Huh. Go off and lock. Yay. <clears throat> Domain of forgery unlocked. Easy peasy. I can finally do this one. Alright, let's see what all these trials are about. Get some easy XP. I think it's mainly just to test out the characters. 
Mass of this war reaction between Animo and Hydro and Pyro and Cryo. Start. Animo comes into contact with Hydro, so it's Pyro or Cryo effect. The electro, the swirl reaction will be triggered. This reaction will cause the element contact with Animo to affect the larger area and can even trigger other reactions. Using Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, and Electro attacks and battle and fuse opponents with the elements, switch to an animal character and use the animal attacks to trigger the swirl reaction to affect opponents with the elements more effectively. Use Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, and Electro attacks in battle to infuse opponents with other elements. Switch to an animal character and use animal attacks to trigger the swirl reaction to affect opponents with the elements more effectively. Let's see how this guy does. So. I definitely like her abilities more than the main character. Because it's like it's nice to be able to sit there and just smack, 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 and then they're instantly getting swirled. Instead of having to like hold still and use my ability. He takes crow.
Watch this! decent at doing the uh, crystallization thing I would say because freaking there's a lot of that shit with my mink <laughs> with uh, Noel uh, frozen extra charge super conduct uh, overloaded melt vaporize I'll try this one get him wet and then dry them off. Pyro means hydro, vaporized current, vaporized triggering source, hydro pyro. Certain damage bonus. Your damage by hydro or receive a greater damage bonus than pyro. Okay. I need to set him on fire and then hit him with water. Okay. Use pyro attacks in battle to infuse opponents with pyro. Then switch the hydro character and use uh, vaporized. Okay. Do we'll do frozen? Crown with hydro, frozen change, frozen being a render mobile. Hydro attacks the battle and make opponents wet. Switch to crowd, okay. Here, crowd trigger. Next trigger frozen, control your opponents effectively. Go, Barbara, go! Let the sh- 
show begin. Okay, that seems like my best combo at the moment. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, what do you do to kill your enemies? Oh, you know what? Freeze them in place! Bitch! <laughs> Not too shabby! Hmm. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go again. Cause you're hot, then you're cold, you're yes, then you're no, you're in, then you're out, you cry, then you're power. Alright. Yeah! Dodge this! your luck. Dodge this! I I like her spear fighting. I feel she could have a better thing than the bun than the bear. <laughs> or at least setting people on fire. <laughs> I like Dillick for a uh, fire. Everyone I have has a great sword. No. Nice you! Nice and spicy! Just 
Alright, let's see how superconducting works. Brow meets electro, superconductors. So, AoE cryo damage. And will decrease physical resistance of any beings affected by superconduct for time. Oh, switch characters. And battle use cryo and electro attacks. And I'm to trigger superconduct and defeat your opponent swiftly. Get a big old group for me. Freeze! You're in for a little shock. Get off. Dodge this! Gentle. Don't get frostbite. Closer. You've been a naughty boy. Dodge this. This moment will be frozen in time. Fuck yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Final one. Electro and Hydro, there's increase the electro damage till it wears off. Addition of opponents affected by electro charge or electrify nearby wet opponents doing electro damage. Use hydro attacks in battle to make opponents wet. <clears throat> then switch to an electro character and use electro attacks to trigger electro charge and defeat your opponent swiftly. Go, Barbara, go! This is for dots. We're doing it for dots. <laughs>
Yeah, well, we did that. Go for it. Yes. Oh, this is the holy liar. You managed to retrieve it. The pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood. What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Mm, although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. <sighs> Is that really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, we won't be able to call Devalin with it. The Liar itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. Okay. You're Outlander. Huh, Relax, things. it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Great! Try to use it on the holy light. Hey, give it a try. It worked as expected. This youthful glow. Praising yourself? Really? I was talking about the Holy Liar. Huh. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying. Suffering alone in some deserted place. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Let me come up with a song for you. Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. Oof. This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Six months ago, a thief stole treasure from the East Temple of the Four Winds. What was it? A cup used by Barbados?
Hmm. Now, although if such a thing existed, it would be very valuable. Among all the relics they managed to dig up, one particular object was very rare. It was a vial which contained the Animo God's breath. Relics come in every shape and form, huh? Anyone with an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it out as well. They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. I've bought more than 2,000 fakes to date, and the Fatui are yet to find the real one. Whoa, you guys are insane. So it means the real one must be out there somewhere on the black market, right? Hmm. Paimon will give you a discount on them if she finds any, because Paimon's just great like that. Sure. You can try to find the real one. I'll take what you find, even if they're fake. Once you're done, find me at the winery. I'll trade you a beer for every 20 you find. D instead of F. As a good knight should. Leave it all to me. Place like this. 
As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. In my experience, the secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it in the first place. Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. What? <laughs> don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does, though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait! You had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too? Why is that a strange, Paimon? <clears throat> it's like a legit question. Okay, um, I need to change my guy back over to wind. There's still a long road ahead.
вообще. No fall damage. <laughs> the price for impatience is death.
What's the hurry? It's too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm Terror. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. Oh no. Hey, Diluc. I heard that the Fatui have recently proclaimed you persona non grata. <laughs> what an honor. Nobody was ever proclaimed persona grata by the Fatui anyway. Fatui? The diplomatic delegation from Shneznaya? What have they got against Master Diluc? The Fatui are a problem not only for the Knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Diluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. You Knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront the so-called diplomatic scum. Personally, I despise them. If I were to choose between eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui, I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic. That's why I... Sorry, I initially spawned in. Oh, wait, no.
The Bully Protection Squad, assemble! Let's put our crystals together. Oh, the color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Devalin, you're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, Traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is... refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. Okay, let me give it a try. The Dawn Winery. It worked. It seems completely different from before. The liar's animal power seems fully restored. We should be able to use it now. It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. The wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Paimon understands. Sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the lyre would be... If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. <laughs> All right, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to... Okay. Oh, how awful. Alrighty. Let's say, uh... The Dawn Winery's <laughs> wines are old. I'm gonna cut it off right here, fellas. Until next time. I'm probably gonna switch it up and be straight. <laughs> Budge. I'm gonna switch it up and stream something different later. Be sure to come back and check me out when I'm streaming then. It'll be about maybe a couple hours. I gotta eat some food. Replenish my stamina. And then we can hang out again, play together, and watch videos. But until next time on Leo Plays, this has been Getchin Impact. Yeah.